Okay, my name is Roy Jenkins. I live in Roseburg, Oregon. Uh, this is the latest kit from GLR called a nuclear sledgehammer. It's a seven and a half inch. It was 92 inches tall. Uh, it's maiden flight was yesterday on a CTI sledgehammer motor, basically a 75 millimeter four grain. It's a 2375 L class. Uh, it had a good straight boost, uh, flew really good. And during preparation, seeing as how we'd never flown this before, we got this bright idea that we would use some added shear tape on the connection point between the mainframe and the motor section. And that was probably not good thinking because it was untested and I usually ground test everything and it was ground tested with one and a half grams on each side and it worked just fine. Uh, but with the three pieces of shear tape, when it got to Apache, it was not a good day. <laughs> it came back, we estimated about 400 miles an hour, and when it got to 1200, the G Wiz said it needed a parachute, so it kicked out the parachute. And you can see the results. Uh, it Come, uh oh. Oh no. I saved the fin can and the motor, no harm, no harm to the altimeter bay, uh, but it needs a new airframe section and a new nose cone, as you can see. Uh, yeah, that was just one of those things we overthought the whole process, you know, we should have kept it simple, stupid story, and <laughs> it would have worked a lot better. Uh, but we got to thinking that there was going to be extra drag because all the surface area of the fins, and we didn't want to drag separate because it's got six pounds of lead in the nose. and. Uh, so we don't know exactly what would have made it work, but we know what doesn't, so <laughs> I'll rebuild it and we'll try it again. Uh, so now do you know how high it actually went? Yes, uh, one altimeter said 4100 and the other one said 4317 or something. So around 4000. Right, and that was on a L-Class 2375, which was about 2000 foot higher than I'd suspected. I'd figured 2500, but boy, it really moved. Uh, there are some good photos of it taken by some guys, but I didn't get one. Uh, and I'm not sure if anybody got a picture of it deploying at insane rate, but we're basically surprised at the minimal amount of damage that's happened from a deployment like that. Uh, it needs new airframe, but uh, oh, that's a minor problem when you look at the fin cam. So. Right, yeah, well, all my work was in the fin cam, and uh, it's the basic GLR kit, which was uh, their DynaWind tubing, which is two layers of 10 ounce cloth and they've got some way of making a real slick shiny finish on the outside of it and the uh, fin can came that way pre-slotted and the fins are uh, honeycomb honeycomb nomax and then there's two additional layers tip to tip of 10 ounce fiberglass on there too so that's pretty bulletproof fin can and i'm not sure anything really would have helped to zip around the thing but that was a lot of energy you know i mean the whole bird weighs 46 pounds so that quite a bit of a jerk on attack 9B. Oh, sorry I missed it. Yeah, we, we just had good weather at the last minute in the evening decided, okay, we'll try it on L today and M tomorrow. And well, if I'd have done M, it just would have been that bigger of a zipper because it would have been coming in from twice as high, I'm assuming, so. All right. Yeah, well, thank you. you bet. <laughs>